Kombi is a graceful dance performed by Ifik people in Calabar Cross River State, Nigeria. These dance moves are derived from ocean waves. Look at that. This is one graceful dance with incredible footwork signifying peace and happiness. Nine. At the logo dance. <laughs> The Igbo tribe of Nigeria are geniuses when it comes to culture and tradition. Atilogo is a question which literally means, is this magic? Another version of the Atilogo dance is mostly done by men. <laughs> Swange dance. Trust me when I say you haven't yet seen anything as captivating as this dance. Swange is one of the best dances in Africa. It is indigenous to the Thief people of central Nigeria. Swange is usually performed in ceremonies for its entertainment qualities. Who doesn't enjoy seeing women wind their waist? Don't enjoy this alone. Share with a friend. Seven. Rosso dance. <laughs> Koroso dance is a combination of movements from various traditional dances of the Fulani and Hausa people of Kano State, Nigeria. The dance, which from inception hinged on a particular pattern of steps and body movement, has evolved over time. The dancers are usually adorned with bracelets and rattling beats worn on the legs called Koroso. The music is just as captivating as the dance. Six. Banta dance. This energetic break dance originates from Sango, the Yoruba god of lightning and thunder. It is believed the god of thunder is athletic, hence this movement. There are different styles of the dance and body movement are based on the rhythm of the instruments played. There is this. And this one, well, this in particular is known as the Furajiga. Five. Dance. This dance has its origin among the people of Ebonyi State, Nigeria. The dance is also known as the maiden dance because it is an all girls exclusive dance, i.e., those girls that are arrived and ready for marriage. So, what are these guys doing? I have no idea. The dance involves a vigorous twisting of the waist in a seductive way so as to attract suitors. Well, if you think this one is on a whole new level, wait until you see this one. <laughs> Four. 
This traditional music ensemble is accompanied by a maiden dance popular among the Nsuka people of Enugu State, Nigeria. It is performed with a set of four percussive instruments. These instruments are mostly played by older men while the dancers are young and fresh maidens. The contrast here is tight. The dance typically revolves around the waist while pivoting on the toes. Now, if this isn't beautiful, then I don't know what is. Organa dance. Organa music is tight. But the dance though looks like a malfunctioning robot going berserk, but that is what makes it difficult and Nigeria's most popular traditional dance. Disagree? Leave us a comment down there. As you can see from this beautiful lady's performance, it is quite impossible to do this dance if you have back issues as it mostly involves bending of the spine while tapping both feet and moving hands downwards or side to side. <laughs> A get get dance. A get get might not have a pleasing name, but it is one of Nigeria's most popular traditional dances performed in the southeastern part of Nigeria. The name a get get stems from a local slang for wealth and bravery, which explains why the dance is considered a cultural classic and are only played in royal homes or rich families. By the way, just in case you're wondering, what the heck you looking at? Well, what women can do, men can do better. One. Masquerade dances. There are a couple of masquerade dances in Nigeria. The Mawu and the Adama are two of the common types. These masquerade dances are mostly performed for entertainment purposes only, but some